Hello, my name is Peggy Berry Bartz, and I am very happy to host Orion Outreach today. I have some wonderful guests today, Brooke and Alyssa, from this incredible organization called House of Hope Ministry, where they plant seeds of hope. Welcome, ladies. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. Okay, I would love for you to tell all of us how this started the whole organization. Alyssa and I have been friends since middle school and we were living together um, in an apartment after after high school and um, and when our apartment lease came to an end we were praying about where God would want us to be. Um, we wanted to be intentional about who our neighbors were and there was a mobile home community close by us that uh, we just kept feeling a tug on our heart um, to be involved with and to love those neighbors. So we started dreaming about what it would look like to live there and love the neighbors in, in practical ways. Um, okay, and what city was the park in? In Lake Orion. Okay, all right. And which park is it? Uh, Orion Lakes. Okay, I think that's off of which road? Brown Road. Brown Road, okay. And so, and then what happened? And then we started uh, talking to people about how we would like to start, you know, this kind of, this ministry. Um, and we weren't really sure how, how that would look. And um, there was a man um, named Michael. He was a youth pastor at Kensington Church. Okay. And he was actually living in this in Orion Lakes in the community that we wanted to be involved in, and people kept telling me to go talk to him. Um, and there was one day where I, I, I'm a little bit of an introvert, and I don't really, um, it's hard for me to talk to people. And so I had been putting off this conversation with Michael, uh, and then one day we were in the church lobby, and. I went and I, I asked him how he got started um, because he was in the neighborhood. He was living there and being intentional about loving his neighbors. So he was doing a lot of what we wanted to be doing. So I asked him how he got started and he told me that someone had gifted him a trailer in that neighborhood five years earlier and that he just moved in and got to know his neighbors. Okay. And then he told me that he was getting married and moving out that summer and that he had been praying for someone that he could pass down the trailer to. And he, uh, this was like my first ever conversation with Michael and he offered me his house. So, well, let me tell you, that's how God works. Yeah. And you had to step out and ask. I think that, that saying, ask and you shall receive, that's pretty key here. That is amazing. And how did you, uh, feel about this whole idea? Um, I have always been pretty passionate about kids and so the idea of getting involved and just finding new and unique ways to be a part of these kids lives and really pour into them was exciting. Um, very introverted of course so the adult part of it kind of stressed me out for a while but okay just, so you, now your ministry has expanded after so you moved in right you started like that summer and your a lot of your ministry is for children I understand so tell me about that the evenings that you have and how many kids show up and how do they know about this we have uh, youth nights once a week and right now we actually have two locations oh, we have do? one in Lake Orion and then we also have one at Parkhurst Estates in Oxford I know of that too uh, so each location has a youth night every week and uh, a group of kids from the neighborhood come over and we share a meal with them and we pray with them and we play games and help with their homework and our goal is to create safe community for them. And how many kids come on, a, on an evening? Uh, we usually have around 30 at each location um, and it, it fluctuates. But right. Mm. So you have food? homework help and play games and just have a good time. So it's like a couple hours? Yeah, two, two hours. Okay, now I know you also have special events that take place through the year. Why don't you tell me about a couple of them? 
Um, we noticed that a big thing that the communities needed was assistance with clothes and food. So we have an anonymous food pantry at each location and we try to do a couple major clothing giveaways um, just at the community. Then we celebrate all the main holidays and we get everybody together for Easter egg hunts and um, we try to do a couple barbecues in the summer. And then we just finished up with Christmas in the park. Yes, which, tell me about that. What happened? Um, we have people who want to adopt out our families is how we word it, but they buy Christmas presents for the kids and the parents that wouldn't really have anything under their tree when Christmas comes around. And it's just a huge stress um, that the families have on their heart leading up to Christmas and we're able to just be able to take that weight off of them and show up at their door with a bunch of Christmas gifts. Um, this year we did over 300 people in eight of the local trailer parks, which is such wow. a gift to be able to have a team of people that want to come alongside and just love their communities. That is awesome. And I understand you partner with Kensington um, in a an organization uh, called, help me out here. Uh, their Move Out. Move Out, yes. Tell us what yeah. that is and what's the fun thing that you did called Runs and Rakes. Kensing, Kensington Church has, um, they call it their Move Out Network, and it's a, a branch of their ministry that has teams of people who go out into the community um, for outreach. And so House of Hope Ministry is one of their, their teams. So they are really great about like, sending us volunteers and resources to help uh, with our programs. And one of the things that uh, we do every year is the rake and run. And um, so that was a really cool thing. Uh, the Orion campus, Kensington's Orion campus, sent out their, uh, their kids ministry this year and, and did a bunch of houses with us. So we, we just go and we rake people's leaves for them. And, um, and, and it's a way to bless up. them yeah. and clean up the park. That is awesome. Okay, you also do um, um, other things with the kids, like uh, you said barbecues in the summer, and um, uh, do you have movie nights? We do have movie nights. Mm -hmm. Tonight is actually our movie night. Oh, is it really? Yeah. What are you showing? Um, they wanted to do Jaws, but I don't feel like that's <laughs> gonna last. <laughs> so I think we're gonna do Black Adam. Okay. There's a couple. I'll give them a choice. I might be the only adult I know who's never seen Jaws. I don't do scary very well. There's I already don't so swim, excited. so I would never go in the water anyway, but I've never seen the movie Jaws. I know the cool chord structure at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> it's a bass note and a half a step up. I usually show kids that when I teach piano. I, you can do this theme from Jaws right now. <laughs> All right. Well, if they get afraid, you can always shut it off. Right. Yeah, that's really fun. All right, what other things do you do? We get to take them all to summer camp in the summer. Yes. There's a variety of different options we have for them depending on their ages and uh, what their schedule looks like, if they can go overnight or if it's just a day thing. But every single one of our kids this past summer got the opportunity to go to summer camp, which was really cool and something they wouldn't have probably been able to experience. Yes, amazing. And you receive funds from people to help with that, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. That's awesome. Is that through Kensington or through the entire community? Um, we take a couple groups to Spring Hill. They okay, have I know about Spring Hill. Day camps and overnight camps. And then we're partnering with the church in Troy to bring the kids to VBS. And so we do that as well. And then we have a couple tent camping trips, a couple trips up in northern Michigan along the Traverse City area. Wonderful. Do you have a website, Facebook, Instagram? Uh, we do. Our website is househopeministry.org. Okay. They'll put that on the bottom of the screen for us. Oh, cool. What's your Instagram account? Um, House of Hope Ministry. Okay. And the Facebook page. Uh, House of Hope Ministry. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Which one of you is the webmaster? We, Who takes care of your social media? We share the responsibility. Good. Okay, yeah. awesome. All right. Well, have I missed anything? Um, one of our, our goals 
for the future that we're really excited about is that we would like to continue to expand okay. into more of our uh, more mobile home communities in the area. Um, so that's something that we're praying over. So what do you think of all the things that you guys do? What's the most important aspect of this ministry? I think what makes House of Hope unique is that we live where we're serving. So it's not just like uh, I'm going to come in and help you for a second and then I'm going to go back to my warm, comfy home and be uh, detached from your day-to-day -day reality. But we were waking up and we're falling asleep to the same things. So when your neighbor's pipes freeze in the winter, chances are our pipes are frozen too. And when you drive into the trailer park, we get to stop and drop off snacks to the kids playing basketball. And we get to be a part of the day-to-day, -day, which is just probably my favorite thing about what we do. It's just more personal and relational. Yes, and you're actually living among the people. Yeah, they're our friends. Yes, absolutely. That is incredibly wonderful. I understand you have an amazing event coming up that you've done a few years in a row now. And you also have a golf outing in the summer. Not now. <laughs> but tell me about the gala that's coming up. Our gala is our biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, and it is being held at the Legacy Center. In Oxford. In Oxford on um, February 3rd. Okay, that I think is a Friday. Friday. Okay, what time? Yep. Um, 7 p.m. All right. And how many, uh, how, how do you get tickets? Uh, you can purchase them on our website. Okay. Houseofhopeministry.org. There we go. And uh, there's going to be a lot of fun things there. We're going to have live a live jazz band. Wonderful. Um, and some auction items, a live auction and a silent auction. And okay. And opportunities to learn more about House of Hope and celebrate what we're doing this year and dream with us for the future. Wonderful. About how many people attend this? Or is this your first one? Um, this is our third. Okay. And we're anticipating about 100. Excellent. Okay. So that's February the 3rd, 7 p.m. at the Legacy Center in Oxford. Correct? Yes. Okay. So um, I am so appreciative that you guys came today and um, told us all about this wonderful and very quiet, peaceful, humble, Walking with God organization. And um, I appreciate that. So thank you for um, being here. And uh, this concludes our episode of Orient Outreach.